takes it. All right, we're ready for our next bout. We get into the MMA portion of our bout. And from this point on, it's a free play at action247.com slash games. You get the direct link on the Aries Fight Series Facebook page. So go there now and participate. You could win uh, a $50 free bet in the future with the next seven bouts. So be sure to jump in on that. It's Caleb Holt versus Dan Garrett to vets in the cage in his catchway bout at 180 pounds presented by combat cast Let's go to the cage here is Jeff ladies and gentlemen help me welcome to the cage Caleb Holt so here comes Caleb Holt independent fighter the 34 year old and he's coming out to a little vanilla ice that's right <laughs> all right <he's> <laughs> So Caleb Holtz, the much younger of the two fighters, and he's 34 years old. He's one in four, an independent fighter based here in Knoxville, Tennessee. He, this was a 165 pound fight initially, but Caleb Holtz, after his last fight, tested positive for COVID. So uh, he has bounced back, and, but he hadn't been able to get a full regular camp. So they adjusted this to a catch weight at 180, and we'll see, um, you know, where his cardio is bouncing back from Caleb uh, from, uh, from COVID. As we take a look at the tail of the tape, Caleb Holtz, 18 years younger than his opponent, Dan Garrett, very popular Dan Garrett. Holtz, three inches taller. And then you see the weight difference there. Dan Garrett was preparing for a 165 pound bout. They moved it up to 180. He's like, no problem. So he's well under the 180 while Holtz is at uh, up 1.2 pounds above it. So we'll see if that becomes a factor. Back to Jeff. And now let's welcome his opponent, Dan Garrett. So Dan Garrett, who normally walks around at 170, is the father of Dustin Garrett, who we saw in our first bout in the BJJ bout. He has saved the day and taken fights short notice. Man, the 52-year-old Torres, man, getting uh, getting in there. Obviously works with his son, Dustin, Corey Sneed, Dustin McMillan, and that camp at uh, DC Combat. Your thoughts on Dan Garrett and Caleb Holt? Well, 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 man, here we go. Dan Garrett and Caleb Holt, man. Uh, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be interesting, man, to see. Uh, I think this is going to be a fun matchup. I think it's going to be a really fun matchup. You know, Dan Garrett, one on one. He gets in there and he gets going. We know Dan Garrett's uh, win was against Bud Cook, man. And he went in there and took him down, you know, did his thing. Uh, Dan Garrett's don't slouch, man. He'll take it to you. So you, you better come correct or he's going to hit you straight in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, Dan Garrett's loss was to Elijah Gilbertson. That was in the second round. That was back uh, in the summer of 2021. All right, Caleb Holtz in the blue trunks, Dan Garrett in the black trunks. Three, three minute rounds. It's MMA bout catch weight at 180 presented by Combat Cast. Back to Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, your next bout of the evening is sponsored by CombatCast.tv. It's a catch weight bout at 180 pounds. It's scheduled for three, three minute rounds. Your first fighter, fighting out of the Allure Properties Blue Corner. He weighed in at 181.2 pounds. He has a record of one win with four losses. He's an independent fighter right here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Caleb Holt. And his opponent, fighting out of the Knoxville Mortgage Brokers Red Corner. He weighed in at 168 pounds. He has a record of one win with just one loss. He's representing DC Combat out of Murphy, North Carolina. This is Dan Garrett. All right, we're ready to go. Our referee is Luke Wilson for this bout. Caleb Bolt, Blue Trunks, Dan Garrett, Black Trunks, three three-minute rounds here at Aries Fight Series 4 at the world-famous Cotton Eye Joe in Knoxville, Tennessee. Three, excuse me, two losses for Adam Silvey. Well, excuse me, one of them was unanimous decision. The others have ended in the oh, first round. Guillotine. Oh, we got a guillotine. 
guillotine attempt. There you go from Caleb. Yeah, he is sinking back on that neck. Oh, let it go. Oh, Ooh. good hip toss there from Dan. Good hip. Dan. Good hip toss there, man. Good side pressure. What's Dan Come working down. for here? Oh. You tap. Is there a tap? I think so. Let's go, Dan. Some confusion here. I'll hit him with a key lock. All right, so it was a key lock victory for Dan Garrett. So Caleb Holt did tap on that key lock. This wasn't expressed clearly, but it was a submission victory for Dan Garrett. How about that? Be a key lock in the first round. Yeah. What about that trip? Yeah. That was, that, uh, that hip toss there was uh, pretty sick. Good job, Dan Garrett. So Caleb Holt had a loss to William Darley that was 206 in the first round. Chris Kinnett lost in 202. Lee Radford lost in 57 seconds. And then a win over Brian Hurlburt. That was also in the first round for Caleb Holt. And then a loss to Adam Silvey. But another loss here for Caleb Holt. He goes down to Dan Garrett, who's now 2-1. and one. Make it official here is Jeff. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee stops us about at 48 seconds of the first round. Your winner by key lock submission, Dan Garrett. Dan Garrett. How about that?